how are you? Um, today we are going to have a go at uh, Dock of the Bay by Otis Redding. We're going to play the riffs and at the end of the lesson we'll just run through the chords. Um, it's absolutely fantastic guitar playing. I know you're going to enjoy it. Uh, it's some of my favourite guitar playing. so simple but so effective and uh, just so clean, man. It's just fantastic. Steve Proper, what a legend. Now, uh, so let's kick it off. Uh, we've got um, the chord underneath at the beginning is a G, so and we're talking about the beginning of the chorus, that's where this kind of lead guitar bit first arrives. So, uh, you know, that section, right? So underneath that, we've got this marvelous, marvelous riff. So we've got a, a D and an A, and we're just gonna hammer on to the B to make it basically the top of a G. G major chord, right? So we're going to go one, two, three, and four, and. Okay, so ten and ten to tw ten and twelve, three times on the beat. And then. That G note, and then you're going to play an F sharp. That's a G. Yeah, F sharp and a B. So we've got one. Two, three, four, and two. Now, next riff is so. Let's just do that. We've got the same thing happening with the G. So one, and then we're going to slide to 14 and 12, which is an A. Okay, and then we get a nice little easy riff there over the A7 again. And then we slide into G7 again, and then, and then we're gonna, so that same riff. And then your second finger is gonna go from F sharp to G sharp, because it matches the E underneath at the end of that section. So we've got the whole thing again is two, three, four, and All right, next riff. Fantastic. Now, um, later in the song, when we're kind of playing the verse stuff, let's just run those chords. So we've got a G, uh, G, uh, G major, bar chord. Um, now look, the electric guitar doesn't really play this thing. There is an acoustic guitar way back in the mix, but you could play like a, you know, sort of. chords are G7, B7, C7, or C, and then just semitones down, so you've got one and two and three and four and one and two, three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So that's the verse, and then the chorus is one and two and three and and four and G and two and three and four and E and two, three and four and G, two and three and four and A, two and three and four and G and two and three and four and E and two and three and four. Okay? So in that verse, um, uh, so you can do, uh, Steve Cropper always plays these little uh, kind of triads, stuff like that. If you listen to his playing on Soul Man by Sam and Dave or Change Is Gonna Come by the Otis Redding version, you hear this sort of thing all the time. You get these two fingers and he just hammer that kind of thing or yeah so we ended up in a G chord there. We had like nine, six, four, yeah, 
by that I mean that added nine and added six is just four. That kind of guitar playing. So if we're playing that, you know. Um, there we're playing um, that's a kind of common soli sort of riff as well. So where they were playing A, an A and a C sharp, we're going to go to sevens and then nines. Yeah. I mean, you can play that kind of thing over the whole verse, you know, G, B, C, and then semitones down. of different ways of playing the same sort of thing. Now on the record he does do that when he's over the G in the verse and then he hits um, when he gets to B7 he hits that here which is the top of a B7 chord so we've got 14, 12 and 14 and then a B6 and then he comes back down that Or sometimes he plays, which it really is a sus four to a C and back to A. That's over the at the end there. So where you go, G, B, C, that kind of thing. Any of those riffs that could just sound absolutely awesome because they are basically you're basically playing the chords. Okay, one more section of this song is the bridge. G, D, C, two and three and four and G, D, C, two and F, two and guess I remain the same. So those are the chords underneath. So the lead guitar is going to play, we've got 10 and 10 here, we're going to hit those twice together. You can either use, you know, go the hybrid picking where you're picking with the pick and then your first finger, or just pinch them, do the cunning pick hide in the fingers, like that. And then we're going to basically, so that's a G. We're going to play F sharp and an A from the D chord, and then we come back down. So that whole thing is two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. G and then slides back from G when it goes to the F chord and then up to D and then back into the you know So there you go, there is a run through, sorry for the slouching, but there is a run through of all the parts and chords in this absolutely awesome classic hit uh, by Otis Redding uh, called Dock of the Bay. I hope you've enjoyed it. I will speak to you next time. Please subscribe for further lessons. Um, there's a new one every Saturday morning and uh, I'll see you then. Thanks very much. Cheers. Bye.